welcome. We are going to take you through a Balance 2 class today. Um, this week would have been our Balance Testing Week, a reassessment week. Here at Hillcrest, we offer three Balance classes, Balance 1, Balance 2, and Balance 3. Balance 1 is pre predominantly a seated class. Balance 2, we take you in and out of the chair. And Balance 3, you're rarely in the chair. Um, and we try not to allow you to hold on to many things for support, just using your own strength to support your body. So every six months in our balance classes, we reassess. We do our balance assessment um, just to see where you're at, where our teaching should be at or is at. Um, and then that gives us a little bit more feedback um, and to how we should teach our classes and so on and so forth. So this would have been our balance reassessment week. And in honor of that, we're gonna present you with a balance two class today. So balance two is kind of middle of the road. Like we said earlier, um, we sometimes are seated and sometimes are standing. So I'm gonna demonstrate moves that are standing and Crystal's gonna be doing moves that are in the chair. They're gonna be fairly similar. Some of them might be a tiny bit um, different, but we'll explain that as we go through. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna march in place, nice and easy, just lifting and lowering those legs up and down, side sweep those arms, that's it. Standing or sitting up nice and tall, keeping our core engaged. Warming up the body. Good work. Keep going. That's it. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Lift and lower, lift and lower. In three, two, and let's slow those legs on down. Very nice. So now we're going to go into some high knees. High knees, we want you to lift your leg up so it's a little bit higher than your hip, and then you bring it down. So if you imagine you're climbing a very steep mountain or a steep set of stairs, that's the movement we're going for. Let's begin. Good. If you're standing, you're transitioning your weight from one foot to the other, so a little bit of a single leg balance. So if you need to hold on, to a sturdy chair, a countertop, a sturdy table. Um, you can use that for added assistance if you need. Good work. Keep it up. That's it. Three, two, and last one. Excellent job. So for this next exercise, we're gonna open up our hips and loosen those guys up a bit. So, seated or standing, we're gonna start with our left leg. We're gonna lift our left knee up, open it out to the side, plant the foot down, then lift and bring it back in. Same thing on the right. Open and close. You wanna keep your hips pointed forward. That's it, well done. Open and close, out and in. Last set right here. Last one. Very nice. So next, we're going to do a step, touch, step, touch. If you're seated, you're going to follow along with Crystal. Standing, it's a step, touch, step, touch. Hands can be on your hips. Holding on to that sturdy chair if you need. Working our side to side lateral movement. Warming up those abductors, adductor muscles that we have. Good work. Keep it going. Be mindful of your posture throughout the class today. We always want to make sure that our posture is nice and tall instead of rounding forward. Getting our body used to lifting ourselves up. Keep going. Three, two, here's your last one. 
Very nice, excellent. So from here, we're gonna do some leg extensions or some front kicks. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your right left leg up out in front and then slowly bring it down. Ideally, you're lifting that leg up so it's parallel to the hip. I understand that that's probably not possible for a lot of us. So you just wanna lift your leg up as high as you can, keeping it as straight as you can and slowly lowering it back down. This is when that sturdy chair or countertop comes in handy if you're standing. Good, slow to lift and slow to lower. We wanna keep that leg as straight as possible. That's it. You're doing excellent. Keep it up. Here's three, here's two, here's your last one, lift and lower, excellent. So from here, while we wanna warm up our lower body, we also wanna make sure that we're opening up and stretching our chest and our back, which are very vital and important when we are moving through the world and trying to balance. So we're gonna extend our arms out in front, slight bend in our elbows, shoulders are relaxed. And we're gonna inhale, open those arms out to the side, stretching the chest and squeezing those shoulder blades. Then you exhale, you bring your arms all the way across, give yourself a hug. Good, a few more times. Each time you wanna to try to stretch a little bit farther. Last one. Excellent job. From here, let's take our chin and we're gonna look over our right shoulder as far over as we can. And then we're gonna drop our chin down towards our chest as we slowly roll our head all the way over to the left shoulder and then back down and around. One more time here, shoulder to shoulder. Good. looking back towards us. Hey, over here. All right, we're gonna jump right into our class. So we have eight exercises and we're gonna go through them for about 45 seconds. Again, I'm gonna be standing up and Crystal's gonna be doing the seated modified version for you. There may be some moves you can do standing and some you need to be seated. So listen to your body, go at your own pace, pause us if and when you need. Um, and repeat this circuit as often as you'd like. It's gonna be great to strengthen your lower body um, and great for your balance, which we hope you're all practicing. So let's jump right into it. This is the most fun exercise that everybody loves to do. It's our sit to stand or stand to sit squat. So again, if you're seated, follow along with Crystal. If you're standing here with me, feet are hip distance apart. Hands can be on your hips, across your chest, behind your head, holding onto your chair, wherever you feel most comfortable. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge the hips back or hinge forward as Crystal's demonstrating. And you're gonna squat down if you're standing or stand up if you're seated. And then you're gonna go back to your starting position. If you're standing, it's very important that we keep all the weight in our heels. We hinge our bottom back and we squat down. So you should be able to wiggle your toes but the, the heels are pushed down. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Remember, if you're standing, you have the option to hold on to something just for added assistance. And we're going at our own pace. You're taking breaks if and when you need. Excellent job. Keep it going. Strong legs. You've got 15 seconds left. Slow to lift and slow to lower. Good work. In three, two, and one. Very nice. So next, we're going to be doing a heel lift to a toe lift. So again, feet should be hip distance apart. Hold on to your sturdy chair, sit up, stand up nice and tall. 
We're going to push our weight into our toes, lifting our heels up as high as we can. Then we're going to slowly lower the heels down, rock the weight back, and lift the toes up as high as we can. And we're going to transition between the two of these. Here we go. Heel lift, toe lift. This is a great exercise for our ankles, for the calves, for the shins. They play a vital role in your balance, in lifting and lowering your legs, your feet. Good work. Keep it up. Slow to lift and slow to lower. You want to have control if you can. Good. We're almost there. In three, lift, two, that's it, and last, whoop, one, very nice. All right, so from here, we're going to march, but we're going to go out, out, in, and in. When we do this, I want to make sure we're not sliding our feet or shuffling our feet out, out, in, and in. We're lifting our feet up, out, and out, bringing them back in. And in. If you're seated, you're going to do a hop like Crystal's demonstrating now. So when you're hopping, if you need to, you can hold on to the bottom of your chair for added support, or hands can be at your hip using those abdominal core muscles. All right, whichever way works for you, let's go ahead and begin. Out, out, in, in, or you hop. Remember, you can always hold on to that sturdy surface. Legs are wide. 
and we're going to do some fast feet. So we're going to go as fast as we can, keeping our legs wide. If that doesn't work for you, you can always do a wide march in place. Okay? Fast feet are march in place. Let's do this. Here we go. Quick, quick, quick. Getting that heart rate. Of that left thigh. 
Now just going into this position, you may already feel this stretch. If you do, stay here. If you'd like a deeper stretch, I invite you to reach your right hand towards your right toes as long as you're able to keep your right leg as straight as possible. And of course, breathe. It may sound silly, but oftentimes when people stretch, they tend to hold their breath. So we wanna make sure we're breathing and relaxing. That's it. Great, slowly pull yourself on up. Plant that foot down. Let's go ahead and switch. So now, our left foot extends forward. Again, we're trying to keep the left leg as straight as we can, hinging forward so our right, hip, right forearm rests on top of our right thigh. If you feel it here, stay put. If you'd like a deeper stretch, reach that left hand down towards those toes while keeping that left leg as straight as you can and breathe. That's it. Great job. Slowly pull yourself on up. Plant that, right, that left leg down to the floor. All right, we're going to do our figure four stretch. So we're gonna keep, there's three options actually for this stretch. We'll go through all three of them. We'll show you all three of them. Crystal will do the modified and I'll do the advanced version. The first option is you can rest your right foot on top of your left shoe, right where the shoelaces are, allowing that right leg to hang down. Second option, you can extend that left leg forward, resting the right foot on top of the shin below the knee same thing, allowing that right leg, the right knee to hang down by the side. Or you can bring your right foot all the way up, resting it on top of your left thigh. We're stretching our piriformis, which is deep within our hip. In any one of these instances, if you'd like a deeper stretch, you can gently nudge that knee so it's more parallel to the floor, pointing to the opposite side. Or you can hinge forward if you're seated up like I am allowing that knee to gently push down. You wanna breathe and relax. That's it, great job. Good, and let's slowly pull ourselves on up, planting that right foot down. Same three options apply for the other side. So pick which one feels best for you. Good. And if you're seated up nice and tall, you can hinge forward. Breathing. Good. Great, and slowly pull yourself on up. Plant that left foot down to the floor. You're gonna take your hands down by your side and we're gonna inhale and we're gonna lift and reach that right arm all the way up and over towards our left side, feeling the stretch down the right side of our body. Exhale, bring that arm down. Inhale, we're gonna lift, reaching that left arm all the way up and over towards the right and bring it on down. One more time on both sides, really reach and stretch. Good. And last one. Very nice. So our next last exercise is our chest opener. I'm going to do it standing. Crystal's going to do it seated. All we are going to do is we are going to interla interlace our hands together behind our back. And you want to drop your arms down so your shoulders are relaxed. So you see how my shoulders are relaxed? I'll show you from the side here. And then we're gonna lift our arms up and away from our back without hinging forward. And we're gonna stretch that chest. Arms are lifted, shoulders are relaxed. And I want you to take a few deep breaths here. Stretching those chest muscles a few more. Last one. Bring those arms down by your side. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Again, this was our Balance 2 class. 
We have three balance classes, but we showcased you our balance two class. Um, we hope that you all have a really wonderful day um, or weekend, whatever you are doing. I hope you have fun and we miss you and hopefully we will see you all very soon.